Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Wednesday the 16th of October 2019. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. Okay, my wonderful friends, so let's see what message Spirit has for us for the middle of the week. <clears throat> Okay. What? Thank you. What is? Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Your first card is the wonderful Nine of Pentacles. Followed by the Three of Swords. And finishing with Major Arcana number six, the Lovers. Your first card is the Nine of Pentacles. Nine, the number of completion, reaching an ideal, <sighs> having your dreams come true. Um, it's, it's that coming into your own kind of energy where I feel like you really, really finding your feet. Um, and I'm, I'm drawn here to the um, bird of prey. Um, whether it's a falcon or a, or a hawk, but birds of prey, they are about empowerment. They are fearless. When they, when they see their prey and they swoop, boom, talons are out. There's nothing stopping them. They are fearless. Um, this is what I'm feeling for you today, my friends. Um, I feel like you, you've come to you into your own, um, You've realised your own power. You understand your own life force. Therefore, um, I feel the energy now of you. It's like you are fearless. And oh, my friends, it's wonderful. So as I look at this very stylish um, lady um, in, the, in this deck, she's a garden witch. Um, she is coming through this archway, so I'm, I'm really feeling, my friends, that this is you, uh, and the archway is representing a, um, a, a metaphorical doorway, um, and you are now walking, going through this doorway, leaving fear behind. Um, and the Nine of Pentacles, this represents uh, status. Um, this lady, this green, um, sorry, this garden witch dressed in this wonderful brown velvet gown. Um, it's luxury. Um, it is status that she's showing you. Um, her nine pentacles. Um, not only has she got nine pentacles, but they're presented to you as flowers in bloom. This is growth. This is success. Um, and I'm really feeling the brown of this velvet gown. It's this, it's the earthiness. It's the groundedness of the pentacle energy. Um, so I do feel today, my friends, walking through this doorway, leaving fear behind, um, being fearless, um, standing on terra firma, not letting anybody. Um, Take your life force. You have dreams and visions. Um, you see yourself at a, as a certain status. Um, and you're ready to go and get it, my friends. And next you have the Three of Swords. And I feel that Spirit is saying to you, <clears throat> if you want to go and get all of that, my friends, and leave fear behind, um, 
It's about being in the Trinity, number three. It's about being authentic. It's about having your mind, body and spirit, your thoughts, words and actions all matching, all congruent, all going in the same direction. With the Three of Swords, normally we would speak about heartache, heartbreak, you know, having your, your heart wounded. Um, I really wish this had come in the reverse because I do feel that then it would flow on that you are fearless. But it's come in the upright. So it is a reminder for some of you. Um, again, I'm hearing the, the self-sabotage. Um, it, it's how you are speaking. Um a sword energy it's your thoughts it's your words it's your communication um and i'm hearing as you speak it so you be it um you know i for me I, 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 as i go you go around it you hear people saying oh i'm thick i am you know and i oh i cringe because <laughs> i think oh as you speak it so you will be it um you know if you think you or speaking of yourself as being um not pretty enough, uh, not slim enough, uh, not nice enough, um, then all of this is, um, it's wounding your own heart. Um, and I'm really drawn to these, um, the flowers that um, appear to be falling or dropping, um, and they are purple flowers. So when you are in this energy of self-negative talk, self-sabotage, uh, you couldn't be further away from your connection with the divine, which is the crown chakra that you want opened up like this wonderful lotus flower. Um, you want to be receptive to the divine. You want to be able to allow the divine to shine light in to you and for you and through you um, so when you are in this energy my friends you could not be further disconnected from the fearlessness that you truly are aspiring aspiring to be so spirit says major arcana number six the lovers Major Arcana, speak of your inner world, your inner knowing, your major inner knowledge. It's time to make a commitment. This, this, this couple here, I have made a commitment to each other. Um, but it's time I'm feeling to make a commitment to yourselves, my friends. To love yourselves enough. To see your own inner beauty to see the beauty of your heart um, and to let this inner beauty uh, shine out as I look at this beautiful angel represented in the background and in comparison to the people here um, although this is major arcana and we're talking about your inner knowing um, I feel they're represented in the physical um, look how massive this inner knowing is, look how huge spirit is trying to tell you, to help you fill your heart up with love. You are seeking fulfillment. Um, but my friends, this is a choice I am hearing. This is a choice for you to make today. You can either continue on this path and in which case, uh, these flowers will keep falling away from you and you will always be feeling this wounded heart energy or you can surrender to spirit and allow your life force to drive you to raise your vibration so that you can become fearless oh <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. I was a little worried when I saw this come out, but once this once the thoughts start coming and spirit starts giving me um the message for you, um it's one of disconnection. So I'm feeling today, my friends, 
what you are thinking and feeling you are is not connecting with your heart and there is this disconnect with your heart um, i'm truly hearing it is about how you are speaking about yourself in the physical as you speak it so you be it um so be very mindful of how you are speaking of yourself and not just of yourself but of others um we really want to remove these swords from your heart um and it's reconnection my friends it's reconnect with what you know to be true in your heart it's making the choice to surrender to the divine to your inner knowing to your huge inner knowledge you know that you could that you that you shouldn't be speaking negatively about yourself and others um and if you make this choice today my friends if you surrender to spirit um see your own inner beauty um loving yourself enough to make this change then you can become fearless i am hearing you can have your dreams come true you can reach this ideal that you aspire to oh big 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 message no okay <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> well let's see if we can bring some color back into your life the secret language of color by inner cigar Oh, I'm just hearing as well, because um, red, it's it's the colour of love, it's the colour of passion, um, it's also the colour of danger, and I'm just hearing Billy Ocean's red light spells danger, um, a warning, um, so I'm feeling that this is a warning from spirit to be more mindful, um, really pressing this message home today, my friends. Ooh! okay a bit of billy ocean <laughs> wow what is the message for my wonderful friends from spirit for wednesday the 16th of october 2019 thank you so let's just lower the camera and pop our cards a bit further up and your colour is oh chocolate number 13 nourish your body and soul and look how it is coming under this lush brown velvet chocolatey uh, dress that this gorgeous garden witch is wearing 13, 1 and 3, 4, um, the stability that you are seeking is going to come, my friends, from nourishing your body and soul, not <laughs> this self-sabotage, but nourishing yourselves. Ooh, okay, well, for those of you that like chocolate... Chocolate is a mixture of brown and black that links us to the earth, providing healthy boundaries and encouraging structure. It allows your shadow side to offer deeper insights and growth and also provides you with nourishment and resilience. Nourish your body and soul with chocolate. Today, make yourself a cup of hot chocolate and sip it slowly. Allow the warmth and sweetness to nourish your body and soul. What does this nourishment mean to you? How can you nourish and nurture yourself more? Get some paper and a pen and put your feet up and allow your creativity to flow. Write down 10 nourishing things that you can do for yourself in the next week and do them. Say, Divine Intelligence, please awaken the sweetness and soulfulness inside of me so I can truly nourish and love myself. Oh, wow, wow, wow. 
Now, my friends, what a fabulous message unfolding for you. Okay, which is Wisdom, Barbara Micklejohn Free and Flavia Kate Peters. Let's stick with this practical magic message that is being given to you, my friends. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so coming under your Three of Swords is Cauldron Containment. Okay. When you are bubbling over with anticipation to share with the world, you are advised to keep a lid on things, for the time to come out is not yet. You are, sorry, is not yet, is not yet right. <laughs> sorry about that. That which you hold within is to be contained for a while longer. So, for now, just allow all that you know and feel to simmer gently. Boiling over will not serve you, and you just may get your fingers burned. Instead, Cauldron asks you to use this as a time for nurture and preparation. The feast is promised, although newly acquired ingredients have not yet been presented to you yet. They are needed first to be stirred into the pot. When indeed you add these fresh additions to that which already flows through your veins and can be traced back through your bloodlines, then you will be ready. Be patient, for the signal to move forward will appear in good time. Only then, my dear, can you serve up that which the world will be ready and willing to accept. Hubble bubbles not the way. Simmer softly await the day keep within that which you know time will come for you to show so this this nurturing of yourself this cauldron energy i'm feeling um this containment it's about healthy limits and healthy boundaries um so while you are making this change and it's not going to happen overnight this is about reprogramming yourself it's retraining yourself it's reschooling yourself it's re-educating yourself um and it's going to take some little time to to turn you know you you couldn't just turn the Titanic in one big go. Um, it was impossible. They, you know, <laughs> they were going to hit that iceberg. Um, it's about really slowing this this Titanic down, my friends. Um, as you slowly um, make these wonderful changes, um, but uh, being encouraged, um, keep it to yourself. Um, so that others cannot sabotage you because maybe they don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you uh, loving yourself and loving life. Uh, so keeping it all contained, my friends. And it reminds me when I was at school and I was in a school play um, and I, I was asked to be the witch and I, oh, I was so upset because obviously you wanted, I wanted to be the princess like anyone else. But it turned out the witch was the, um, it was the biggest part in the play. Um, and um, I was so good at it. It fit me such, uh, so much like a glove um, that they actually put two extra nights on <laughs> for all the mums that didn't come in the first place to come and see me. So, um, yeah, a real hit at being a witch at the age of seven or eight. And I can still remember Hubble Bubble, Toil and Trouble, Fire Burn and Cauldron Bubble. <laughs> and then I had to get on my broomstick and run round. <laughs> I just thought I'd share that little insight with you, my friends. <laughs> Probably didn't need to know that, but hey-ho. Okay, um, well, I'm drawn to uh, Wisdom of Avalon by Colette Baron-Reed. So, uh, 
extra card today, my friend, by the looks of it. Okay. What is the message for my... Thank you. Okay, and your wisdom of Avalon is... <sighs> love. Coming underneath, love. And number 45, adding up to the number 9. Um, these are the steps that you are going to be taking, my friends. These steps... It's the baby steps of growth that Ruby talks about. It's one little step at a time. It's me saying about, you know, you're not going to stop the Titanic and turn it all in one huge go. Um, so be mindful, my friends. It's about re-educating yourself, re-schooling, retraining, reprogramming. But it's one little baby step at a time. Um each step of the way i am hearing nourishing yourself nourishing your mind body and soul oh <laughs> what a message for you today my friends okay this marker reminds you to show kindness and compassion to all whom you meet on your path be it a beggar on a street corner a co-worker a family member, an animal, or a plant whose leaves need pruning. This marker shift, asks you to shift perception from yourself as a solitary person on the earth to one who is part of a living system. Love is what made you, so keep it flowing. And remember to receive love as well. Ask yourself, am I blocking love? This marker reminds you that you're as connected to all of life as it is to you and that you're responsible to be the steward of the love of the God, Goddess. Love is without conditions. It is respectful, mindful, sees all life as sacred and acts in accordance. Love reminds you that this very planet is a living being and love is the very essence of the divine in you and it sees the divine in others this is the time to see through the eyes of love and always ask before you act what would love do the answer will always bring you extraordinary power this marker is a very fortunate and transformative oh, omen and I'm just hearing the very end of Silka's poem that she wrote for me, uh, that I read to you. Uh, you are love's people. You will not drown. It's okay to love my friends. <laughs> it's okay to take these swords out from your heart and allow yourselves to love, to be loved and to be loved. Woo! Okay. Are you going to lie down, Dakota? We have the beautiful Dakota with us today. You going to lie down? Good boy. <coughs> oh, I knew he was going to speak. <laughs> okay, Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. Are you joining in? Okay, well, let's call on Ruby. The kind red spirit. <coughs> what is the message for my wonderful friends from Ruby? The kind red spirit. <coughs> what do my wonderful friends need to know? Thank you. Okay, she has given you two cards. So the first one she has given you, is, okay, thank you, is step into your leadership, share your message, and inspire and empower others. 
Okay, sorry about that, friends. <laughs> Better go and sort the dog out. Okay, so Ruby saying leadership. Uh, nine of um, number nine is about leadership. It is about stepping into your own. Um, it's about sharing this knowledge with others. Um, but I'm also feeling it's. Um, Ruby says it's about empower. This is the fearlessness of empowering yourself. Okay. And she's also given you imagination. So she's saying to you, envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream and believe in unlimited possibilities. Um, it's the envision a new reality, she's saying. That's the message for you from Ruby. So I will quickly read the time has come for you to be the leader that you came here to be and to make a stand for what you believe in this situation or opportunity is calling on you to speak your truth powerfully there are others who need to hear your message and they have been waiting for you to show them another way this unicorn urges you to rise up and be seen and heard. Do not be afraid of standing out. Dare to shine your light more brightly than ever and let your passion for making a difference to be greater than any of your ego's insecurities. Being a leader is not always the easiest path and it may require you to be courageous. Be assured that the universe would not have put this opportunity in your path if you weren't ready. Ask the divine to guide you as you speak out. Rise up, leader of light. You came here for greatness and it is your time to be seen. And once you start shining with love, my friends, <laughs> you cannot help but be seen. Imagination. Your imagination was once wild and free and magical. Deep in your heart you believed that anything was possible and then you grew older and were told to live in the real world. You were told to take sensible action, to be responsible and to learn facts and figures instead of dwelling in daydreams. You were led to believe that hard work was the only way to get results. This thinking cut you off from your magic and blocked you from using one of your most powerful manifesting tools. Now the winged horses call on you to soar back into the realms of your imagination, to use daydreaming as a powerful way to create your reality. Return to your childlike mind that was full of wonder and to your belief in magic and miracles. And instead, of being limited by reason, allow yourself to fly high into possibility and believe you can be, do and have anything. If you can see it happening in your mind, it can become real in the physical. Spend time each day to powerfully dream of what you want. Let your imagination activate feelings of joy, delight, gratitude, amazement and surprise as if your wildest dreams have already come true. Let these feelings flood your body and stream them back to the universe. Give thanks in advance and surrender the how to the divine. This card also encourages you to go even higher with your dreams and to trust that they are closer than you think. Have patience and don't give up right before your vision manifests. So. Go on, my friends. Ruby says, give yourself permission to dream big. <laughs> dream that you are lovable. Speak that you are lovable. <laughs> Be loved, I am hearing. Be love, give love, show love and be loved. That's the message from Ruby, the kind red spirit. Wow, wow, wow. My wonderful friends. Thank you for all of your likes, your shares. Welcome you subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. You have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits. And thank you too for your warm, kind, encouraging comments and emails. I really enjoy receiving them, so do keep them coming. And so, may favour be with you all, as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful, and a truly blessed day.
and until tomorrow, my friends, goodbye.